Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place. And today's question is, how's your mood? There's a few different things that we're gonna talk about today that can definitely impact how we feel. So we're gonna get right into it. One of the first things that I was gonna talk about today is gut health and serotonin. Now, serotonin is a neurotransmitter that does, it can play a role in our mood and our, how we feel good. It's not the only neurotransmitter that does that, but it does impact how we feel. So roughly 90, 95% of serotonin receptors are in the gut. So having a healthy gut can affect how serotonin interacts with our body and in, indirectly affect our mood. So how do we keep our gut healthy? Well, let's eat healthy foods, whole foods. Um, eating things that are fermented foods can be really good, like raw sauerkraut, raw kefir. There's a couple other things like yogurts. Um, these are things that can impact our gut health, which can affect serotonin levels, which we know can play a role in our mood. So make sure you're eating a healthy diet, not a lot of processed foods, sugars, sodas, that will negatively impact our gut health and will negatively impact serotonin levels. So keeping a good diet will help with the gut. Number two, vitamin D. If you go up, if there's a hard winter, like say up in the uh, northern part of this, the country and even into Canada, uh, it's really popular to, for people to do UV light therapy during the winter because quite frankly, if we don't get enough sunlight, sun exposure, it can be kind of depressing. And so people actually do UV light therapy during those hard winters, number one, to help stimulate production of vitamin D, which sunlight does, it helps activate vitamin D in our body, but it also, having higher vitamin D levels helps perk up our mood and keep us healthy. So good sources, now that it's springtime, we're seeing a little bit more sun, getting 20, 30 minutes of sunlight every day will help trigger your body to activate the vitamin D that's in there. And then I always talk to my patients about wild salmon. That is the highest food that I'm aware of that has higher levels of vitamin D than anything. So consuming that maybe once, twice a week can really help boost your vitamin D levels. So that's the vitamin D. Screen time versus social time. Too much screen time, number one, it isolates us. Uh, the other thing we are seeing, we've seen a, a pretty rapid increase in anxiety and issues like that since the increase in use of devices and device time. Um, so it is having a negative impact. It doesn't mean you can't have a device. It just means be aware of, of how often you're on that. And are you start, do you find yourself, are you trading more of this time and having less social time? because it's important for us to interact with our friends, our family, to spend time together. We know it impacts our mood. It makes us feel better when we are around people. So if you notice, hey, I've been spending a little too much time on the screen lately, a little, more, a little too much alone time, I wanna get out there. So be cautious of this. Just be aware of it because it does affect our mood if we're constantly on a device and constantly by ourselves. Um, the last one is exercise. Exercise stimulates and triggers the release of endorphins. We know it's important for our cardiovascular health. Our body wants us to exercise. So if you're not getting regular exercise, this can definitely impact your mood. And you might even wanna combine a couple of these, go out taking a walk, or excuse me, taking a walk and getting some sunshine and getting the exercise. Those things can impact your mood. So it's by just a partial list of the things that I wanna talk about that can affect your mood and help boost it. These are easy things for us to do and just be aware of, but hopefully this helps boost your mood for this springtime. I'm Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place.